Hi, my name's Peter Brogdon and in this video I'm going to take you through the steps involved to easily clean the sensor on your Panasonic Micro Four Thirds camera. Any camera that has an interchangeable lens will eventually need to have the sensor cleaned because contamination will over time enter the camera, but it's easily controlled. Now, in order to establish whether the sensor needs cleaning, it's a good idea to occasionally take a test shot so that you can decide whether the sensor is dirty enough to need cleaning or maybe just leave it until the next time. So it's really easy to take a test shot. First of all, take the lens cap off the lens, turn the camera on and set it to aperture priority mode, which means we can control the aperture because we want in our test shot to have a small aperture, which means dialing in a large aperture on the numbers. So by that I mean if I dial in f22, I'm going to have a very small aperture that gives me maximum depth of field and that will show up any dirt on the sensor the best. Uh, I'm going to set it to manual focus because I'm not really interested in photographing anything. I just want to point the camera at a white piece of paper or a white wall, a blue sky, anything with a continuous tone that will show me the marks on the sensor and not on the thing that I'm photographing. So I'm on manual focus, F22, and I've got a low ISO selected. So all I've got to do now is set the lens to its longest focal length. We want to use a reasonable focal length, not a wide angle lens, and then just move the camera about and take an exposure of your white subject matter, and that should give you a nice grey tone that clearly shows up any contamination on the sensor. And now you're in a position to decide whether it's actually okay or whether you do need to clean the sensor or not. Nevertheless, when it's time to clean, you should approach the cleaning in a two-stage process. By that I mean do a dry clean first and then if necessary do a wet clean second. Now the dry clean is all about getting any loose dust, anything sharp, sandy or gritty off the sensor uh, uh, before we start worrying about doing a wet clean. So, in order to do a dry clean, let's take the lens off. Now, once we've got the lens off the camera, it makes sense to put a lens cap over the back of the lens in order to prevent any dust falling on the lens, which we might then reintroduce into the camera when we put the lens back on the camera. Similarly, when we're not actually working on the camera, put the camera down that way, not that way, and then no dust can fall into it. When you are cleaning, make sure you've prepared a clean, dust-free area to work in, uh, not the grabbiest part of your household, obviously. Find somewhere clean to work. So, dry cleaning. Stage one would be to use a blower. Uh, I like to keep my blowers in a polythene bag to keep them hygienic and clean. This blower actually has a filter, so I know it can only filter and blow out clean air. So, I'm going to hold the camera upside down and hold the blower just underneath the entrance to the uh, lens mount and I'm going to give it a couple of quick blows just to remove any dust that's on the sensor. I'm not putting the blower up inside the camera at all, I'm keeping it just outside the entrance to the uh, lens mount. So having done that, if we're lucky, that will have removed uh, all the dust. Now we can check it fairly quickly if we have one of these magnifying loops and they make it really easy just to hold up, inspect the sensor and see if there's any remaining dust. If there is dust you can move on to a second stage of dry cleaning which involves using a brush. Now these brushes from the Dust Patrol uh, have a very very soft nylon bristle and in order to use it to remove dust from the camera, you need to put a charge on the nylon bristles. So we take the blower and blow it gently over the bristles for a few seconds. And that blowing will put a static charge on the brush. So now we can take the brush and introduce it into the camera and we'll go down from one side of the sensor, down the length of the sensor, and up to the other side and then gently out of the camera and with any luck that will have removed 
any remaining dust. In fact, we can say that any remaining dust is stuck to the sensor and will need a wet clean. Now obviously the bristles here are very soft, we don't want to touch them, so we're going to put the bristles back in here and seal it up again to keep it clean. And then we can have a look with the loop and work out whether that's sufficient cleaning or whether we now need to go to a wet clean. Now wet cleaning involves taking a swab, putting some fluid on it and rubbing it gently across the sensor. Swabs come in three different sizes. They're colour coded so that it's easy to work out which size you need. We have a chart on the website that lets you check your camera and it will explain to you which swab you need. But generally yellow swabs are for full frame cameras. Blue swabs are for larger crop sensor and some micro four thirds cameras and red swabs are for uh, cropped DX and most micro four thirds cameras. These swabs come sealed up in a pouch. Uh, they're very easy to use. They're designed in a cutaway format so that they're really easy to see the sensor when you're cleaning. And unlike many swabs, these are uh, the material is held on with a band so there's no welding or glue involved so in their construction there are no sharp edges or anything that could damage the sensor. So uh, it's important to have a clean area prepared. There are two available solutions for cleaning, uh, wet cleaning a, uh, a sensor. We have gamma fluid and beta fluid. Both have approximately the same cleaning efficiency, but if you travel a lot, especially on aeroplanes, uh, use the beta fluid. Okay, so I like to prepare the work area first. So I'll take the top off the cleaning solution and then I will cut open the sealed bag and get the swab halfway out the bag so I'm ready to use. Okay, the camera has the lens off already. I'm now going to wet the swab with two or three drops of fluid and now I'm going to gently introduce the swab into the camera and then I'm going to put the swab at one side of the sensor and then I'm going to slide it gently across the sensor until it reaches the other side. When I get to the other side I simply reverse the handle and go back again to the beginning again and then carefully out of the camera. Now that swab is done, it's contaminated, we never want to use it again, so I'm going to put the lens straight back on the camera, and now I'm ready to do my final test shot to check how clean the sensor is now. Now, these stages are really easy to do. I hope you found that a useful video, and it will help improve your photography no end. If you found this video helpful, please give it the thumbs up. Thanks very much for your attention.